Hello again, YouTubers. New Time Travel Jaime 88 here. I'm back again with more Throwback Thursday video. This week, I'm going to be taking a look at the Stuart Little 3 movie collection. And as you can see, I've done this before in my crappy camera quality, but now I'm finally doing this in a better camera quality. This consists of two, I mean, not two, three Stuart Little movies. Stuart Little, Stuart Little 2, and Stuart Little 3, Call of the Wild. And um, Stuart Little is based on a book by E.B. White. It's a good family film. Mm -hmm. Before we get down to business, I'd like to give a quick shout out to Julie Cassidy. Julie, if you're watching this, your videos are excellent. Keep up the good work. Make sure you check out her channel on YouTube. I'll leave a link into the, in the description. Okay. Now, let's get down to business. First up, here's Stuart Little. And this is a 2000 VHS of the 1999 movie. From the co-director of The Lion King. Here is Stuart Little with the suitcase, and there's a shoe, looks like that's George. The Little family just got bigger. Oh, yes. And I seen this film when it premiered on HBO back in 2001. Featuring the voices of Michael J. Fox and Nathan Lane, and also has Hugh Laurie, Gina Davis, and Jonathan Lipnicki. It also has Jeffrey Jones and Elise Beasley from Moonlighting, also known as Agnes DePesto. A family film, I mean, a family adventure filled with excitement, fun, and one absolutely adorable mouse, says George Pinaccio, I mean, Pinaccio of ABC TV. Still pictures from the movie. You do not eat family members. <laughs> Can I eat them, please? That's Monty. And this also has Brutal Kirby and Jennifer Tilly as the fake Stuart Little parents. Ready PG in his 85 minutes. Here's the sticker label. And this is a, even though this has a 1999 copyright, but this is a 2000 VHS. Tape number is 20. The ninth week of 2000. Okay. And the way this movie opens up, it starts with the Columbia TriStar Home Video Rare Variant from 1999. It used the same one as the DVD release. Then it's got now available on home video screen. A trailer for Annie. A trailer for Madeline. Little Woman. Matilda. And Jumanji. Then it's got a trailer for The Adventures of Elmo and Grouchland. Which that film flopped at the box office. Then it's got coming soon to home video screen. A trailer for Triumph of the Swan. Thomas and the Magic Railroad, and it has a Smileworks promo, Stuart Little website promo. Then it's got the Radio Shack commercial with Stuart Little voiced by David Kaufman instead of Michael J. Fox. Then it's got the Stay Tuned bumper, the 1982 FBI warning screen, the surround sound logo, the formatted screen, the 1993 Columbia Pictures logo, and start of the movie. After the movie's over, it has the hilarious Stuart Little blooper reel. And yes, this copy does have previews because this copy is version one of the night of the 2000 VHS. Just want to give you proof. I know there's another copy that does not have previews on there. I mean, does not have the Radio Shack commercial on there. 
And there is a 2002 copy that does have different previews with the Stuart Little 2 logo on there. Trailer. And we speaking of Stuart Little, I had it right here. And this is a 2002 VHS of Stuart Little 2. With Jonathan Lipnicki, Hugh Laurie, Gina Davis, Michael J. Fox, and Melanie I mean, Nathan Lane returns and also has Melody Griffith, Jonathan Lipnicki, Mark John Jeffries as his steward, as George's best friend. Directed by Rob Minkoff, who also directed the first film. Better and more fun than the first, says the late Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. Featuring Melanie Griffith as Margolo. Two thumbs up stated by Richard Roper and the late Roger Ebert. Ready PG for brief mouth language and it's 78 minutes. Here's the still pictures and it, this has Martha Little. Can't remember who vo played Martha Little. Who's a, and who's a guy who voiced Monty? Let me know in the comments below. But here's the sticker label for Stuart Little 2. The 42nd week of 2002. This is interesting. I really love that film. Mm hmm. First time I saw Stuart Little 2. And. Stuart Little 2, this is one of my, even though I love this film, this is ex amazingly fun. And I still love Stuart Little, don't get me wrong. Anyway, um, Stuart Little 2 opens up with the 2001 Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment logo with a different fanfare. It has coming soon to home video. Then it got the trailer for Little Secrets, The Master of Disguise. <laughs> uh, you know, I want to be the Master of Disguise. I'm going to be the Master of Disguise. <laughs> that movie is, even though I saw it in theaters, but that movie is awful. Then it's got now available on home video bumper a trailer for Kermit Swamp Years. J.J. the Jet Plane, Bear in the Big Blue House, Dragon Tail, Maggie and the Ferocious Beast, and Harrow in the Pepper, I mean, in a Purple Crayon trailer. I get ready to say Pepper, but it's purple. Then it's got the, a promo for Stuart Little, the animated series, which is coming to HBO in March at the time, 2003. Then it's got the soundtrack promo of Stuart Little. Then it's got the MPAA PG screen, the 1982 FBI warning screen, the surround sound logo, the 1993 Columbia Pictures logo, and start of the movie. This, yeah. And um, one of my favorite scenes when George kicked the um, soccer ball and put Stuart Lou in the net. net. <laughs> yeah. That's priceless. And now, here's Stuart Little 3. Even though a lot of people said this is a guilty pleasure, which i seen bits and pieces on Cartoon Network back in 2007. No, actually it's 2009. Actually, it's at Saturday Sun Coast. No, sa Saturday. Yes, uh, F Y E. Excuse me. Featuring the voices of Hugh Laurie, Gina Davis, and Michael J. Fox, and Wayne Brady. And this does not have Jonathan Lipnicki in there. Mm-mm. 
And it does not have um, Nathan Lane in there too. Directed by Adu Padden. This is from 2006. This is a direct-to-video. The next big adventure in Little Family. Stuart biggest adventure yet. Rady G in his 75 minutes. Here's the ink label with the blue lid and black reels on there. The print date is January 19th, 2006. Story Little 3, Call of the Wild, opens up with the Sony Pictures Entertainment logo from 2003 with the coming soon to feeders version that looks like the use from Columbia TriStar leftover from the Columbia TriStar. No, actually, it's from. This is from Sony um, Pictures Edition. As a trailer for Open Season. Then it's got coming soon to home video version with the Sony Pictures Entertain Home Entertainment logo. It's a a preview for it's a big big world. Then it's got not available on DVD and video with Sony Pictures Home Entertainment, the Sony Pictures Home Entertainment Children's Collection, the warning the FBI warning screen from 2005, the surround sound bumper. The Sony Pictures Home Entertainment logo and the Wag Wagon Entertainment logo and star of the movie. Alright, let's take a look. My thoughts and opinions. Stuart Little. This is the good one. And I've seen this a dozen times. One of my favorite scenes when his Stuart had to chase away from the cats. And also, um... My favorite scene with you do not eat family member. That's what he told Snowbell. 10 out of 10. Stuart Little 2, another 10 out of 10. This is much better. And also has James Wood. This is the first, this is the second time that James Wood and Michael J. Fox pair together. The first one being is The Hard Way. Stuart Little Free. Uh. The turkey, or should I say, the stinker of 2006. Bits and pieces, this gets a zero out of ten. Yup. I know if you guys do not like Stuart Little, you know the drill. I respect your opinion. That's it. Make sure, guys, to rate, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching.